Hi, I'm Greg Quirk, and welcome to my lab in beautiful Puerto Rico. Hi, I'm Francisco Sotres Bayon. I'm the leading author of this neuron paper. And I conducted this research while I was a postdoc in Greg Quirk's lab in Puerto Rico. I'm now talking to you from Mexico City, where I'm establishing my own laboratory. Uh, in the next few minutes, Greg and I will give you a brief overview of our study. This lab studies the neural circuits of fear expression in rats that have been exposed to a tone that's paired with a shock and show freezing. Now we know the amygdala is very important for this type of learning, but what our lab focuses on in is the prefrontal cortex and its role in modulating the amygdala. Now the prefrontal cortex is important both for the expression of this learned fear and also for its extinction. Now the prelimbic subdivision of the prefrontal cortex is very important for the expression of the freezing. So the key question that we addressed in this study is uh, what are the inputs to the prelimbic cortex that regulate its activity and thereby regulate fear itself? And also how do these inputs control the response to the prolimbic neurons to these tones that were conditioned or even extinguished. So what we saw is that inactivation of the basolateral amygdala inputs to the prelimbic cortex reduced the activity of principal cells. In contrast, an activation of the ventral hippocampal inputs to prelimbic reduced the activity of the inhibitory interneurons. This suggests that the prelimbic cortex, that the eventual hippocampal cortex inputs inhibits the response of prelimbic responses to tones. Indeed, we found that. As you can see here, responses of prelimbic neurons to tones that have been conditioned. And you can see that the inactivation of the basolateral amygdala dramatically reduced the activity, the response to the tone of those uh, neurons. Whereas inactivation of the ventral hippocampus actually increased the response of these neurons to the tone. In another experiment, we were able to inactivate the two inputs to the same neuron. So as shown in this figure, we have a cell that had no tone response to begin with, despite the fact that the animal was fear conditioned. However, when the ventral hippocampus was inactivated, a tone response was revealed. Notice how robust it is. Then finally, when the, vent, when the BLA was inactivated, that tone response was again eliminated. This is important because it shows that this cell had a tone response that could not be revealed until the ventral hippocampus input was turned off. So this physiological data suggests that the inactivation of the ventral hippocampus should increase fear and increase prolimbic activity as well. Uh, so to ad address this, uh, we did exactly that. We inactivated the ventral hippocampus in rats that were conditioned. And we observed indeed that after extinction, inactivating the ventral hippocampus led to an increased fear response to the tongue and an increase in activity in the prolimbic neurons. So these findings may have some clinical significance because it's been known for many years that people with anxiety disorders such as post-traumatic stress or even depression have reduced volume in the hippocampus uh, and people with PTSD have reduced activity in this ventral hippocampal component. So the increased anxiety may be due to an increased regulation or increased activity of prefrontal areas that receive projections from the ventral hippocampus and perhaps modulating this hippocampal prefrontal connection could be a a good clinical approach. So thanks for listening to our video. We encourage you to read the paper and um, adios desde Puerto Rico. From Mexico and on behalf of my co-authors Demetrio Sierra Mercado and Emmanuel Pardilla Delgado, I want to thank you for your attention. Adios.